What's up everybody? Bonnie here, welcome back to another video. So good to have you, thanks for tuning in. We're in the Keys and uh, we got a few dozen live shrimp. We're gonna be fishing this bridge right up here. I came down here like a couple years ago, tried to shoot a video and it did not go as planned. Didn't catch any fish. Actually hooked onto a huge stingray and that was about it, man. But anyways, we're out here in the Keys. About to fish this bridge right here, right right behind me. And tomorrow, we're gonna be meeting up with uh, Chad Gone Fishing. He's about to put me on some fish. Hopefully, we'll see what happens, man. Should be a good time. <laughs> small mango, dude. Classic. First fish of the day, small little mango snapper. Probably a whole bunch of these guys here. Ooh. There it is. What is this here? What kind of fish is this, guys? Any idea what kind of fish this is? It's a cool looking fish though. Looks like a looks, looks very similar to a mango snapper. Might be a little lane snapper maybe. Or um, so um, this is a schoolmaster snapper. I've not seen it before. We don't have this back in Tampa. Um, yeah, he's pretty small. We're gonna have to let him go. Fish on. Little mango. Yeah, the other one was definitely not a mango snapper. He started shooting towards me real fast. It was probably something big. Little guy. Peace. Alright, we got a pretty decent sized shrimp on right now. Let's send it out there. Key West grunt. I think that's a Key West grunt, for sure. Alright, let's put this guy back in the water. That's a pretty decent size right there. Pretty good eating, I heard, but we're not keeping fish today. Good deal. All right, let's throw him back in the water. So yeah, definitely a tarpon came up and uh, ate that snapper. I don't know what it is, guys, but we got a shrimp way out there and... Uh, oh no, is he still on? He's swimming towards me. Snapper way out there, what the heck? Oh, it's a mutton. A little mutton snapper. A little baby though. Pretty cool fish. Ooh. Oh, what did he spit out? Look at that, dude. What did he just spit out? What kind of creature is that? Look at that. All right, we got to put this guy back in the water. Awesome, man. He's my first mutton snapper right there. A little too small. Let's put him back so he can grow. See you, dude. That little guy hit the shrimp. That was so fast. Bunch of mangrove snapper down here. A lot of small ones, though. See ya. Bite. <laughs> Just got here too. We'll go ahead and put another ballyhoo plug on. See, that's why I'm trying to stay close to the rods. Look at that. It's not frayed, but he definitely took it off the hook. Bite's picking up. Let's go. Regular size shrimp. I go ahead and hook him in the back. The predator is going to eat him head first. He'll get that, that false sense of security. He's good. And when he turns away, the hook will be right in the corner of the mouth. So since we have the chum right here, and I'm not gonna be attacking the fish directly on the chum slick, I'm gonna cast out. So any fish that's coming towards the chum, they're gonna see this bait before they get here. Let's go. Perfect. Give it a little bit of line. Go ahead and close it. 
and then put my bait runner on. It's really that simple. We're just watching the rod tip. I think it's a little small mango. But they're back there. They're back there. Yep, they're back there. This is a mangrove snapper. Not a legal one, but definitely a pretty fish. Go ahead and release this guy. And not to disturb everything on this side, I like to release stuff on this side. There it goes. Swim away nicely. First fish of the day. Don't know what it is though. It looks like a big mango. Oh yeah. Look at that mango right underneath this bridge here, man. That's a solid one there. I think Chad's hooked up too. Let's go, let's go to Chad. Yeah, that is man. a good one right there. What you got him on? Got him on the five volley hoop. See? Heck yeah. Five volley hoop, That's man. a nice one. Let's measure him. Let's measure him. Let's see. Let's go. He's like 13 and a half. Definitely cheaper. They yeah. gotta be 10 inches over here too, right? Yep, that'll be 10 inches, but oh, yeah. this is, this is the size. When you can't touch your fingers like that, that's what you want right there. Oh, nice. Pretty aggressive, man. 13, yep. Nice. That's In a the keeper. Box. In the box. Let's go. <laughs> right, First fish. First fish of the morning. Solid. I'm going to be busy all day with these small ones. Yeah, there's some big ones. There's some big ones for sure. Oh, something grabbed. Oh, woohoo! Something big grabbed him. Oh, let's, let's please be on still. Yep. Nice mangrove grabbed him. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. That's the ones we want right there. Nice mangrove grab. That's a Florida Keys mangrove snapper right there. Heck yeah. This is definitely an eater. Oh, yeah. Probably about the same size I caught, huh? Yep. I think so. Yep. A little bit smaller. Nice. But that's the ones you fry whole, baby, right there. Little guy? Yellowtail. Is it yellowtail? Oh, look at that. My first yellowtail. <laughs> cool. Little guy, though, huh? Yep, they gotta be 12. First yellowtail. Thanks to Chad putting me on today for sure. Small. Small yellowtail. Oh no, that's a grunt. Some kind of grunt. I was catching these guys yesterday with the uh, the shrimp. Looks like a Key West grunt or something. All right, let's see it. Another mangrove. Targeted species, but too small. Beautiful fish. Yeah, that might be a good one. Oh, that's a keeper right there. Yep. Come on, man. I might have to downgrade to 11 instead of 12. <laughs> as long as they're meaty, you know? I, I, I like to fry them whole anyway. Uh, 11 and a half. Okay. I can, I can do that. Yep. Push on. Let go. God damn it. Oh, that's what I wanted. What is this? Grunt. Key West Grunt. On the shrimp. Awesome. See ya. 
that's gonna be a wrap for me, man. Jack's gonna keep fishing though, but I gotta, I gotta book it. I gotta go, man. I wish I had more time, but today's my last day. I gotta go home, pack up, and hit the road. But yep. I just want to say thanks to Chad for uh, putting me on today, man. Absolutely. We'll, we'll definitely, definitely do it again and then have more time to definitely set it up. Yeah. So if you could come in November, December, the bite's going to be on. So you guys, this guy, I've been watching, following him for a long time from the West Coast. Now he's on the East Coast. He will be back. I guarantee he's going to get a keeper month. Yes, sir. That's the goal, man. If you guys have not seen Chad's channel, go check him out. Chad Gone Fishing. I'll leave the link down in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah, buddy.